Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm gonna wait a few minutes and see if anybody else trickles in. But as you can see, we're joined by Maxwell Colonna Dashwood. Hi. All right. Well, I guess we can start off um, and have you introduce yourself and tell everyone a little about how you would describe your role within the industry, where you're currently located, um, all that stuff. Sure, yeah. No, I find that, uh, that question a little bit difficult. Um, well, <laughs> I don't really identify with a specific role or doing a specific thing in coffee. I, I think um, I got into coffee about 17 years ago, and I've been lucky that I've been able to traverse a lot of the industry doing different things. Obviously, most of us explore coffee through some kind of professional capacity. So um, for me, that's starting my own businesses. So I guess on the one hand, I'd call myself an entrepreneur. I've started multiple businesses. Um, and I guess my day to day, you know, when I get up in the morning, that's what I feel I have responsibility for is to try and run those businesses well. But I also get to work on a bunch of collaborative projects, um, research, R&D, writing, community events. Um, so yeah, I mean, I could give you my full journey, but uh, I guess I'm most well known for the roastery and coffee shops in the UK, which are called Colonna and Colonna Smalls. I used to take part in coffee competitions before I got angry with them. And um, I've also been involved in quite a bit of collaborative research uh, and most notably uh, research around water um, and how that affects coffee brewing. But that's led on to other research as well. Well, you were talking about how um, a lot of us experience coffee in a professional aspect, but you came into the scene while experiencing third wave coffee in Australia. Um, mm -hmm. Can you tell us kind of what about that inspired you to make it your life's work? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know if I knew that was the choice I was making at the time. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, no. So I was, I was young uh, and uh, I loved hospitality and I, my first real job was portraiture. I used to paint people, but I didn't like, I didn't enjoy art that much. It was a lot of solitary time and I really enjoyed hospitality. And I think I was looking for a particular food or drink that I could sort of, uh, that could tie it all together. And then when I stumbled across coffee in Australia at the time, this was 2007, um, it, was, it was very much a subculture uh, and, and to specialty coffee to sort of find it, you had to work. And, I was sort of amazed at the fact that I had to stumble across it and I hadn't known about it before. And I had that typical epiphany moment that some people have. Some people are in coffee from a young age and they sort of make their way towards specialty. Whereas I went from being not interested in coffee at all to being sort of fascinated by it within a very short period of time. Uh, but I particularly liked the hospitality challenge. I was like, oh, this is interesting. People, you know, there's coffee shops are very much not a great place to do something specialist. They're fast food driven. They are very much about convenience and speed. And at the time, the interesting coffee for me was sort of under the counter, or you had to know about it or ask for it. So I was interested in the idea of building a hospitality space where the primary focus was to talk about how interesting coffee was. And that seemed like a real challenge, but it was one I was excited by. And uh, it just came from there really. <laughs> 